No Igbo man contesting presidency. All are eyeing the VP slot. My sub leader. Welcome to the news and please subscribe to our channel. The famous leader of the secessionist organization known as Movement for the Actualization of the Sovereign State of Biafra, Masob, Mr. Raf Uwazirike, has said, though many aspirants from the southeastern region are making plans to become president of Nigeria in the year 2023, he is yet to see any serious presidential aspirant among them. He added that they are all eyeing for the vice presidential slot while pretending to be vying for the presidency. The agitation for Southern presidency is not new to Nigerian political sphere. This is the reason why the major political parties are considering zoning of presidential ticket to a particular region. Mr. Owazirike spoke against the backdrop of criticisms, criticisms that surfaced after he publicly declared support for Governor Yaya Bello of Kegogi State Presidential Ambition. He stressed that all political leaders from the southeastern part of a country are pretenders and they are not honest with the ambition. They go to the north to lobby for vice presidential slots. I don't, I don't believe this. One. Sincerely, I don't believe this. And the reason why I do not believe this is because it can be possible that I'm going to have gold and silver on the same table and somebody is going to be seriously clamoring for silver. I don't see it being a possibility. Now, that being said, I was still thinking that the leader of Masob was Rike himself, who came out, you know, that it was actually people that came together and were saying that, oh, using his name to say he's supporting a certain governor of um, Kogi State. Not until he mentioned it now. That man is not fine. That man is not okay at all. Now, do you now see the reason why the Northerners will say the Southerners are not united? They're talking about Igbo presidency. Somebody is talking about how none of Igbo leaders are honest. And again, how he plans or intends to keep supporting Governor Yaya Bello of Pugis State. This is the reason why Northerners or other Southerners will keep saying the, 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 the Igbo tribe that they are not really ready for the presidency. This is one of the reasons. Can you substantiate your allegation or you're looking for an escape room for your mistake? He who listens to a discredited traitor like Uwazirike, the fact that of all the presidential aspirants, it is inconsequential, Yaya Bello, that Uwazirike is a person, goes to show that he is a man of little value and should not be taken serious. I am, I am just, I am like surprised, like, your people are there, you know, campaigning for the presidency. We have not heard you come out one day and say, oh, the presidency should be given to your people. You not least support your people. Instead, you're coming out, first of all, to say that your people are not honest. Uncle, fear God. Wazirike the traitor, you have now shown your true color. When Anandekano was talking about this man, many did not believe him. This was how he and Oje Zokalo sold Biafra struggle to the federal government and started fighting the Namde Canon. Even if they are eyeing the VP slot, Motu supported Northerner because of money. Evil man. Why don't you make yourself available for the presidency? But you go here. Hmm. Sincerely, I feel it is actually, he actually went overboard. He did not only say, oh, these people are dishonest people. Then you now supported the Northerner. Ah, wow, not what in Northern has no go feature. Right? The church is always bitter, they want someone to work for them. Presidency Nanawasa, they cannot campaign, they never consult anybody, even their elders or the traditional leaders. None, hence, they are not really ready. 
going around Igbo land to solicit for votes, they find it difficult. This man is saying the truth. This man is not saying the truth. We have people who are going around and doing their work. We have people from the southeastern extraction who are going around and doing their work. We have people from the south at extraction who are going around and doing that work as well. Yes, this man is not saying the truth. He's not. It is, he's not saying the truth at all. This is not the truth. And this is one of the reasons why the Northern will keep saying it to the, to the ears of the Igbos that they don't like themselves, that they are united. Look at everybody screaming, give the Southeast presidency. Let the presidency be given to the Southeast. Why this one is saying the Southeast are dishonest? Imagine outsiders, Southwesterners, South Southerners are coming out to say, ah, the Southeast too. Even some Northerners are saying, ah, the Southeast, these people have tried. Let's give it to them. And the whole Southeasterner is coming out to support Nawa. Okay. This man is supposed to be flogged. Hmm. You don't need to flog him. At the end of the day, at the end of the day, what is going to happen is that what is going to happen is that um, we are going to keep watching and seeing no plays out. There are actually people who are going around consulting. They, in fact, they are too busy consulting that they are not going to come out to refute this claim. Yes, they are too busy consulting that they will not come out to refute this claim. But I don't think this is actually the best way. It's not the best way at all. Coming out to, you know, discredit your people in public is certainly not the way to go. Now, this is one thing the outside does or the northern as they do. They hardly come out to castigate their own in public. No matter how bad their own behaves, be their brother, be their sister, I want to assure you that they will not reprimand that person in public. Rather, when they go in. But you see, the Southerners, especially the Southeasterners, those people don't have what they call Isuru. They don't have patience. As you are giving it to them by mistake or they know they're giving it to you immediately. Like giving it to you immediately. They don't even want to know. And it's not supposed to be that way. It's not supposed to be that way at all. Okay. And you too, you come to the north to meet our brother Yabelo. They come to the north. You come to the north. No problem. At the end of the day, we are going to see how this thing will play out. Hopefully. We are going to find ourselves in a better place after the election in 2023. Okay, on this note, we have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for tuning in to listen. And so I come here next time. Enjoy the rest of your day.